Real Trace Plow is a new trace routing mode in Expedition PCB. Using Real Trace Plow, a trace is added as the mouse is moved. The only button click needed is to select the start of the route. The user can choose between dynamic or delayed push and shove modes, and design rule violation prevention can be enabled and disabled on the fly while routing. Active clearance display helps guide the user when routing. When routing using Real Trace Dynamic mode, push and shove of obstructing traces and vias is always active. Here you can see the trace is blocking the route path, dynamically adjusting as the new trace is put in. Real Trace Dynamic routing requires no vertex anchor points and automatically terminates the trace when the target pin is reached, providing the user a way to place quality routes quickly with minimum input. True one-click routing. Using Real Trace Delayed Mode, conflicting traces and vias are not altered until the route reaches an area free of design rule conflicts and it is determined that all conflicts can be resolved automatically. The trace being routed changes from solid to a green ghost mode, indicating the traces will require alteration to meet design rules. When a non-conflicting area is reached, the alteration is done and Real Trace is again placed. The ghost trace will turn red if it is determined the conflicting routes cannot be modified to meet design rules as in the case with this locked trace. When this happens, the user has the option of temporarily disabling violation prevention to continue past the obstruction and complete the route. As with Real Trace Dynamic mode, no anchor points are required and termination is automatic. The portion of the trace in violation is displayed differently to indicate that it is in violation. After the user makes the needed adjustments to the conflicting routing, the Repair Selected command can be used to clear the DRC violation. In both Real Trace Delayed and Dynamic modes, the user can more precisely define the trace path by defining anchor points as the trace is routed. During routing, each press of the undo command backs up to the previous anchor point. When routing near existing traces, the adjacent trace highlights making it easy to follow its path if desired. Active clearance display can be used as a visual aid in interactive routing and editing. When on, a circle of user-definable size and color displays around the cursor. Other route elements within the circle are displayed with their CES defined clearance to the active element shown, giving a visual indication of available route space. When moving multi-layer elements such as this via, even elements on non-displayed layers are shown with the active clearance bubble. Thank you for taking the time to view this short demonstration. As you can see, Real Trace Plow enables the user to route quality traces while minimizing the number of mouse clicks required. The ability to temporarily disable violation prevention to complete a route, coupled with violation visualization and auto-assisted repair, eliminates guessing games when trying to clear a path to complete a route, while the active clearance display helps the user see open paths and also which elements are causing conflicts. These features combine to create a route environment that enables designers to complete boards cleanly, quickly, and correctly.